and welcome to the Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer tutorial number 11. Now this one I would like to share a couple of um, tips um, that I have found to be very useful over the years. Um, I don't know that anybody really shows you this, <laughs> but if you're using um, your WYSIWYG, this really helps you a lot. Now, um, let's say that on here, you have a graphic that, you know, you, you go, gee, I, you know, that graphic right here, I, I can't remember what size that was, or, you know, I'm having difficulty with it displaying, you know, or it's up up here in the type someplace, and I need to go back in there. But what did I have that set at? You know, I don't remember. Well, there's an easy way to find out. <laughs> um, you can go anywhere, a blank spot on your web page, right click, and come down here where it says View Page Source. Okay, click that. And yes, this is HTML. <laughs> Um, this, um, uh, I'm gonna, okay, this is a little introduction as well <laughs> to HTML. Uh, those of you with the WYSIWYG, um, this, the way this can help you is, here you have the head, this is what I spoke about the other day, when we were talking about our meta tags, our, our name, our description, and our, uh, keywords and such. Well, this is where they end up. And remember that I said this is the header? Well, some programs such as JavaScript, when you're doing coding, and don't let that scare you. <laughs> it's not as scary as it sounds. Um, th they, there are some pieces of coding that have to go into the head part of your document, and then other parts have to go into the body part. So th it's kind of nice to know where those are <laughs> when, you, when you actually see them in case you ever get curious. So on this one in the head, you can see our keywords, and here's our keywords that we put in the other day, as well as our meta tag of our description. And this is what shows up in the search engines. And it shows you different things of when it was created and so on. Now, if you're using the WYSIWYG, this right here probably holds no interest whatsoever to you. <laughs> and we're just gonna skip down t to the uh, as you can see, it closes off with um, this head tag, slash head, and then it goes into body. Now, the body part is where uh, you would put, if you would, like I said, with the JavaScript, and it shows you your background, um, your tables, if you have any, and it also shows you where your, Im your image is, as well as your text. Now, an image file is always shown by IMG space SRC, okay? And you can see that it says, uh, here's a file name. And if we follow that over, it shows our width and height. And so if you ever have a problem, you can go, oh, okay, that's, that's the width and height I had. I need to adjust that or do whatever. So you can go back to your WYSIWYG and, and fix that. But you're going, well, how do I know which uh, <laughs> file that is? Well, there's an easy way to find out. Just come over here. As you can see, it is a link. So we're just going to click on that. And if this happens to be a JPEG, and there it is. So if I needed to make this smaller or larger, whatever, I could do so. I'd, I'd have the dimensions. Okay? Now, while <laughs> I did that again. <laughs> while you're in there, uh, if you're using the HTML, the other thing that I have has really been a great help to me is I have had my hard drive crash <laughs> uh, and if that ever happens to you especially if you're using the HTML you can go in here and you can right click copy it and save it either to a Word document or put it back into your HTML editor it is also able you're also able to save it because it's online through your control panel okay but don't copy from anybody uh, those of you that aren't using this if you don't copy somebody else's website because Google punishes that <laughs> really badly. It's a big no-no. So, I mean, if it's yours, it's fine, but don't do that to somebody else's because that's duplicate content and it, there's, yeah, it's, it gets ugly. <laughs> so, thank you for watching.